Gracias, papi. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags in a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment where the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Oh, fuck. Yeah. fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, uh. dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so I can kill you myself. Get up. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. Jesus Christ. We should go and get the Ancelotti's chopper. It's just on the other side of the booth tunnel. Are you kidding me? Have you seen what vaginas look like after birth? No way. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this outing? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, dude. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl, then? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from Dukes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Our old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. In our nation's capital, President Lawton made a major promise to get down to action. Responding to recent criticism that he is a show pony who is simply concerned with making sure he gets favorable media coverage. Mr. Lawton made an impression speech. Take us over to Cerveza Heights. Their house is over there. They're 
fifth comeback tour. So, this isn't about gracing? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh wait, we tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh yeah, I've already been picked off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Because I ain't like that. I wish I had your principles, genius. I think that's the place we're looking for. Moron. 
There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant veiny penis shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. Shit, she could be in the trunk of a car in there. She could be in the trunk of the red piece of shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if he comes out. Which is a company that sells nicotine water. So if you can get him to sponsor the show, man. I'm addictive, and I'd love to drink. That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. Radio show that walks the streets of Liberty City, feels the pulse, see if it's if it's dead. You know, uh, like you sometimes do with a girl that's drank too much. It's somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know all the name well, bro, but I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's get this bird on the ground, Lou. Right. God, it's one of these activists that are in every major city now. They stop people on the sidewalk. They harass them for money. They make them... You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. It's sexually boring. All I do is talk about siding and shit. I mean, it ruined my first marriage when I brought another woman in. Because I was like, hey, time for a three-way. And she's like... Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm gonna talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's gonna calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious moolah yos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No! Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. <laughs> 